Hi, I'm Shar. Welcome to my readings. Yesterday's reading was oh, mm, exciting stuff. Exciting. Exciting stuff. So, whoever that was, mm, when the passion dies down, you gotta come back and you gotta let me know. Exciting stuff. We're going to do a reading. Oh, it's starting to rain. Let's see who we can pick up. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. I can normally pick up on my subscribers, so please, subscribe, and come say hi to me. Let me get to know you. Wow, it's never raining. Ooh. I don't know if you can hear that beating against the window or not. It's come out of nowhere. If you've already subscribed and you're back again, welcome. Thanks for joining me again. Collective, let's get her on. Let's get her done. Wow, where'd that rain come from? Collective. Oh, you're all over energy. Right there, the Ace of Pentacles feeling pretty good about something. What are you feeling so good about? Wow. Okay. It could be love. I have the lovers and the seven of cups in the reverse. Hmm. Normally this means no options. But I don't read this card like that. To me, this is not an options card. This is cups of grounding coming out of your head. But definitely... Feeling some kind of love. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Maybe feeling a little bit jittery too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coming out of bondage. Thinking happy thoughts, are we? We're either thinking happy thoughts or somebody new is coming to the picture here. Collective. Somebody new come in the picture. Did you meet somebody? Collective. Hmm. No, you didn't meet somebody. Well, you might have. You might have. Now there's someone collective. Ah, huh. this might not even be you. This might be your person. This might be your person. Starting to feel better. Thinking about love. Because somebody wants to get your attention. Six of Wands riding high up in the saddle. This is feeling pretty good. This is looking for attention though. Somebody might be looking for your attention. Somebody very passionate. Someone who is a homebody. Someone who may be spiritual. Somebody who may have a little bit of understanding about all things work for a reason. But definitely Definitely, this is a this is a homebody. Now this could be you, collective. That's a homebody. Let's find out. Just take it as it resonates. Whoa. Okay. Whatever you're manifesting, I'm going to tell you, it's going to come true. Manifestation. The Magician here with the Nine of Pentacles. 
whatever you're manifesting is on its way, is what I'm going to say there. Yeah, it's working. It's working. This manifestation is working. Start to see things differently, Collective. Starting to see things differently. And the reason I say that is the moon is in the reverse. Pisces. Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius. What's going on here? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Somebody's manifesting big time. If not manifesting, doing a lot of thinking about somebody. A lot of thinking. Whatever it is, it's going to happen. The moon card in the reverse. This is seeing everything now. Seeing everything. We've got here. Okay. There's nothing hidden from you. Seeing absolutely clearly right now. Oh. Okay, something's going on. Something's going on. I've got a messenger. Okay, I got a messenger coming. They're trying to gain some balance here, but there's a tower. There's a tower a coming for someone. There's a tower a coming. The messages here are crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy messages here. There's a message of passion coming in. Someone's not going away. Something's happening here. Spirit. There's some kind of a spirituality wrapped around these cards. Some kind of spirituality and a magician with the lovers, somebody wanting to, wanting to be noticed. messages one after another after another lots of lots of messages okay uh collective this could be a collective that's just looking for closure look at this two in a row look one right after another not walking away not closing not closing off this cycle not walking away not closing off this cycle but someone's going in the tower here. What is going on? Not refusing the fourth cup. Not feeling bored anymore. Not refusing a fourth cup. Someone's coming. Somebody is coming here. Who is this? What is going on? What is her purpose? Ask and you shall receive. That's a purpose right there. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Somebody's wish fulfillment. Somebody releasing heartache. Having a very hard time making a decision. You could be a Libra too. Having a very hard time making a decision. Somebody picking up a sword. Somebody learning a lesson. Somebody saying, okay, I've learned. Been there, done that. Bought the t-shirt. Now I'm queen of swords. Collective, I think your person coming back again. 
Oh my god. But like I said, this could be uh, a collective who's just looking for closure. It's got to be your person because here's what I have for your energy. Feeling pretty damn good. Feeling pretty good. You still think of this, but you're coming into the bondage that it had on you. And somebody's coming. Somebody's trying to manifest here. But there's another, which I'm having to say is you, just not, not looking back at it. You think about it, but not really looking back at it like you used to, and leaving it out in the cold. It's, and so therefore, what I'm getting is a collective who's waiting for someone to come back just to get that closure. This is a collective that went through a lot of pain. Oh my God. And finally starting to release it. But you know, collective, I gotta tell you, there's a lot of people here. Your person all either knows a lot of people and has a lot of dealings with people or it's you. This could be someone that's working in the public eye because there's a hell of a lot of people here. And what I'm doing is I'm picking up on a ton of energies. Not just you and your person, I'm picking up on a ton of energies here, which makes it very, very difficult to do a reading. Because there's a lot of people that send energy your way or their way. And so what I'm kind of picking up is on, um, suppose you go to work and you deal with 30, 40 people or more every single day, especially if you're into retail and you're meeting all these people and talking to them, they each leave a piece of their energy with you. And then when you come for a reading, there's a, a ton of energies that interfere releasing a great burden, releasing it. You know, I'm, I'm just collective. This is someone very, very determined to finish. And this is also someone who still hurts. This is someone who has said to themselves when they come back, no, I'm not taking them back. But this is also someone who hopes that they don't come back just in case they fail. This is someone trying to close a cycle. This is someone also who knows that it's going to be very difficult to do that. Even though they want closure. That's what I'm picking up here. You know, and, and that's exactly what I'm picking up. Because I've got fight, no fight. Fight, no fight. And that's exactly what I'm picking up. I know sooner of speak it, no come to cards. This is someone who is afraid that they may fail. This is someone who wants to fight this and close it off, but they're afraid they can't. This is someone who is afraid of how they might handle it, they might lose. This is someone that wants closure, but not, a, but afraid that maybe they'll go back because, but I'm gonna tell you, collective, <laughs> they are coming. This is great indecision. This is fight, no fight. And that's all within you, fighting and not fighting. 
if they come back, would I be able to stand and tell them no? Indecision. Fight, no fight. That could have a lot to do with it. Here's something about this person that's or some sort of addiction or something. But I got a feeling, spirit speaks. I got a feeling that there's something about this addiction that kind of turns you on. It could either be drinking, having a good time, token, having a good time. It could be some kind of weirdo sex, <laughs> some kind of kink, who knows? But it's something. But whatever it is, kind of made you feel turned on. It made them seem exciting. Yeah, well, they're coming back, and, you know, when I got the devil, and, and then I got the star in the reverse, and then I have somebody being very impatient, somebody being very impatient, this could be a collective that just might this might not win that fight. In the reverse. The fight's in the reverse. No patience. And probably no strength to resist. There's something about this person that's absolutely irresistible to you. Absolutely irresistible. And it could be they make you laugh. It's not just sex. They make you laugh. They make you feel good. They make you feel loved. They make you feel safe. And you know, holy crap. Yeah, they're coming, darling. They're coming with a cup of love. Sword held high and a cup out and stretch. They're coming. And I'll say they're coming fast. Another one coming fast. But this one's different. This one's different. Wow. Or is it? Oh. Okay, I got the sun card with the ten of cups. Damn. It just might work. It just might freaking work. Not walking away, not leaving. Not getting the hell out of Dodge. I think the waiting. The waiting for healing has done something here. Waiting for healing. I think that the waiting for healing. There they are. Jump. Jump, baby. Jump. All right. So what I got here, collective. Someone's feeling pretty damn good. Let's wrap her up. Somebody's feeling pretty damn good here. Somebody still thinks about it. It still hurts. It still freaking hurts. But not as much as it used to. But it still friggin' hurts. There's releasing bondage and feeling better. There might have been a three. There might have been. A person might have gone to somebody else. But now, somebody's calling you back. Somebody wants to be noticed by you. This is someone who does have a spiritual bone in their body. Somebody who believes. And if it's not spirituality, it's someone who believes in like ghosts and goblins and stuff like that. Someone who talks about the, the 
paranormal. This person's got passion. Nose is itchy. Somebody's manifesting here, and by the looks of things, this manifestation is going to work. Oh yeah, indeed, it's going to work. I have the moon in the reverse, which is seeing things for what they truly are. Somebody didn't see something. Somebody's feeling that they might have missed an opportunity there. And I think they're probably right. They're starting now to see that they missed an opportunity. I have the death card in the reverse, Scorpio. Death card in the reverse is um, not closing. Not closing this situation, not closing this cycle, continuing on. Okay, messengers start coming in slowly. Somebody trying to find some balance, but there's a tower in here. Somebody could be feeling the tower moment, and I'm going to say it's not you, because you're feeling pretty good. You're feeling pretty good. So another message comes in. This is not walking away. This is someone who wants what? Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. This is someone who's trying to release also heartache. Trying to make a decision. Make a decision. And what they're making a decision on is picking up that sword knowing that you're the one. Okay, so what I got is a lot of people here. A lot of energies for some reason. Could be maybe someone's working in retail. Somebody works around a lot of people. That's what I'm picking up on. Someone could be, well, even if they're a taxi driver, you know, still picking up a lot of people. Somebody could have clients. I also see someone very, very much being left out in the cold. Someone trying to leave someone out in the cold. I do see it's kind of unsuccessful now. There's fight and no fight. Fight, no fight. And that is a person who's fighting with themselves. If they come back, can I stand my ground? Will I fall? Or can I stand my ground and do what I think is best? Devil activity in here. Some kind of addictions. Something going on. But it's enthralling. It's thrilling. It's adventurous. There's something about this addiction that's like, mm, yeah, I like it. I like this addiction because there's something about it. I don't know what the hell it is, though. So I've got the star in the reverse. Somebody's feeling that their whole life is just coming down on top of them here. Somebody that's not doing too good. Someone might, wants to make an offer. Then I've got temperance in the reverse. This is no friggin', uh, Oh, help me. I'm sorry, I get talking too much here. This, this is someone who has no patience. All of a sudden, there's no patience. This is the way it is. This is the way it's going to be done. It's going to be done now. Great, great passion. Great passion. Whole new beginning coming in here. Coming in real fast. Real fast. Real fast. I've got Aquarius, I've got Gemini, I've got something somebody's working on. Somebody is trying to work on healing, work on getting better, waiting to heal. I got the Sun card and the Ten of Cups and not leaving. So if you're wondering, will you have the strength to stand and say no? The answer is no, you won't. When they come back, they're going to make sure they keep you. Taking a leap. Wow. This is a amazing love story where everything freaking went wrong. Everything went wrong. And the bag of emotions that followed was absolutely horrendous. Sad, stormy, 
and most horrible. And now there's healing. I'm surprised the judgment card didn't come out. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Collective. Congratulations. You win. Definitely. You win. And I could say soulmate connection, right? Definitely huge, huge soulmate connection here. Namaste. Mm-hmm.